Okay, so I'm just sitting here, right? Um, I ordered the motherboard and all the ECC RAM two days ago. And it looks like we've already got one package. And I'm about to open it up. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's the motherboard, but you don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Um, I'm gonna try to cover up all the important information, or I just won't show it. Um, and I think this is the motherboard. Cineform Renderthon, the transcoding build off server challenge between the guy or die and Epos Vox, where we try to build the best transcoding server for rendering our videos in Cineform for the cheapest price by eBay server parts. Thank you so much to Kingston for sponsoring this series by providing Epos Vox with his ECC memory, which keeps his build stable and secure throughout the entire rendering process. Visit the link in the description to learn more. And that came really fast. Like, this is like Amazon Prime fast. And that's kind of scary because I pay for Amazon Prime, but I got this for like really low. So I did pay $19 in shipping, which was the kicker of this entire deal. But I still would not expect this to come that fast. That's interesting. Yeah, I think it's the motherboard dropped in electrostatic. All right. And I think, yeah, this was used. Let me take a quick peek. Yeah, this is the motherboard. Oh man, that came so fast. I have nothing to like test with because the because the um the Xeons have not come yet. Neither has the RAM. <laughs> um but once I do that, actually all I have left to order is the case, the EATX case, which I'm still trying to find because it's a really weird form factor. And the video card. And then I can do it. So as soon as the RAM, everything I've ordered right now. The RAM will come in a few days, and, oh, okay, so I have the RAM, the hard drive, and the CPUs, and then I have, a, I have an extra power supply here, and it, I should be able to test all the parts. Hopefully they all work. I'm skeptical, but, oh my gosh, got the motherboard. I want to unsheathe it real quick. Um, I'm going to discharge myself. I'm going to unsheathe it real quick and show you guys. Well, my motherboard got here surprisingly fast. It even came with an IO shield, which is cool if I could ever find a case for it. But look how freaking, I'm not gonna take it out of the plastic right now, but hopefully I can get some light in here. Look how huge, no. Look how huge that thing is. It's bigger than that laptop. It's got the 12 slots of RAM. It looks in good shape. I've pulled it out. I just don't want to do it on video because I'll screw it up. But that is one huge motherboard. And it came with these here for size comparison came with these huge awesome foam pads and so that kind of made me want to order another one um because i'm gonna hang these up on my sound foam wall and they're gonna make quite the nice amount of additional sound foamage but already got that but it is huge it is i believe it is i already measured it it's 12 inches wide or yeah 12 inches wide by 13 long and so fitting it in a case is going to be damn near impossible because it is each EATX, but it's like the opposite dimensions for it. So we'll see if I can find a case for it. I actually sent an email out to Fractal Design to see if they could give me these specifications for their R5 and their, uh, they have an XL, a Define XL, and see if this would fit in there. But that has me kind of worried, but we'll see. I still don't know what Rio has yet, so I'm hoping that will come out ahead since I already have the motherboard and have some sound foam. Still actually very shocked at how fast this came but there it is in all of its glory ah, I really wish I had rest the rest of the components so I could test this thing but it looks all in good shape I don't see anything that's like bent or anything obviously damaged about it so I'm gonna kind of keep high hopes here and it's just gonna have to sit in my room untested for a few days I'm not sure how long the return policy is on this but I'm assuming it's not more than a few days, so we should be good. I'm excited. Alright dude, it pains me, but I gotta put you away for now. So incredibly delicate. 
like it. <laughs> scary. Scary. Alright, so I nabbed something really cool, but I won't be able to test them until next week, and so I'm kind of concerned, but I'm leaving them in the plastic. According to the Amazon listing, which I actually sniped from Rio, um, I don't know if he was actually committed to going to it, but he's the one who showed me it and I ended up getting it. There was an Amazon listing for two Intel Xeon, I, I don't know the exact model, it is an X5560, which is the lower model than what I was going for. They were 20 bucks each, so I paid 40 bucks for two Xeons. They are four cores, which means eight threads each for a total of 16 threads of rendering power, which is still a lot of power more than my main rig for 40 bucks now they were listed as new and a third-party seller so they could be fake they I mean they don't look fake but they could be bad something they do have a 30 only a 30-day warranty so I ordered two cooler master hyper 212 Evo coolers potentially overkill but the only normal Intel cooler I have is actually one that my mom grabbed me for Christmas that was just on a random lightning deal but it's for an LGA 1150, not a 1366. And so I don't think it's actually gonna work. And so I'm not gonna mess with it because stock coolers suck. So next up I will have to order, I am gonna order some Noctua fans. I don't know if we'll count that on the total build price since that's just kind of extra since the fan coolers will come with fans, but keeping things super silent is going to be very important since I will be running it here in my uh, studio environment here where I need to keep it quiet. But I am super stoked. So we have, I don't know where it went. We have the memory, the motherboard, the CPUs, and now the coolers are coming. So by end of this week, we'll be able to actually boot up my system and test it out. Because it already has, it'll, it has onboard graphics, or the Xeon should have onboard graphics. It has onboard video out on the motherboard. So in theory, we'd be able to get some sort of video out, do some basic posts, and just make sure that things are working. I don't have a storage device for it yet. I could hook up a normal hard drive to start. Um, I will need a decently big hard drive, but I could go on and use a hard drive I already have potentially to just test things and get things configured, which will be very important. So I'm pretty excited. I do have a power supply in my closet that I'm gonna try to use for it. If I can't use that, then that is gonna jack up my price a bit more to order one, but I will have to order one regardless. So I am super stoked because this is almost something I can start working on. And I'm interested to see, since converting to, or transcoding to Cineform on its own doesn't require a ton of graphics power since that's used up during actually using the codec, I'm interested to see, you know, if we needed, you know, much GPU power at all for that specific process. In the long run, I will want to do more things with the server, but for the purposes of this competition, I may even skip out on that altogether if I can get decent performance. And that would actually, if he's going with the GPU, that would totally, you know, challenge price for performance by just not ordering a GPU at all. So we'll have to see. That, my friends, is confirmation that I just ordered two CPU coolers for my build. Things are going quite well. Alright, so the RAM was delivered today with the motherboard, and I was looking at my eBay and I said, your RAM was delivered to the front porch at 9 o'clock, and I'm like, oh sweet, I get to check it out with the motherboard as well. All is good and dandy, and it wasn't on the front porch. I'm like, what's going on here? What, what is this? So I asked my mom, and was like, did you get a package while I was out running? Uh, she said yes, but she thought it was actually one of my presents. So the RAM is somewhere behind me. And I'm not sure which one it is. So I'm not getting my Xeons until after Christmas, so... I'm fine with not getting the RAM <laughs> and unwrapping it as one of my presents on Christmas. I guess a true present to myself. So, there you go. Um, the RAM has been lost. It has been lost. Alright, so I just got super stoked thinking that I found a way to save a ton of money. Because when I was digging looking around for a power supply, lo and behold, I found my old GTX 660 graphics card which means I don't need to buy 750 Ti, which is what I was planning on doing. Instead, I can just use that, at least for the time being for the competition, and gain some points in the price to performance ratio. But then I found out the power supply I thought I had is 
not the one I thought it was. I thought I had my old Corsair RM750 in here. This is a piece of junk pre-built power supply that doesn't even have the connectors I need. Although, I could adapt it. It's only a 460 watt, so it's not even going to support the wattage that I need. So, yeah. I'm looking here at power supplies, and if I get the cheap, or like cheaper but still highly rated EVGA 750 watt Supernova, that's still about 80 bucks. So, that plus my case that I'm about to order, which I've been talking to people on the forums about, and it seems like it will work if I, or it'll work, but I'll have to cover up the, according to this guy, I'll have to cover up the power cutouts, or the cable cutouts, so that kind of sucks, but it'll be worth it. So if I do that, I have to get it on Newegg, it does come with a $20 melon rebate for the power supply, it looks like. Uh, I'm not seeing anything about that on here, yeah. 69 after $20 rebate card, so that's alright, so I'm not actually saving a ton of money but power is very important. So if we view my cart, we're looking at about 200 bucks right here, plus shipping. Um, but that's cheaper than it would have been with the 750Ti. And I've already got my CPU coolers down here ready to install. I've got the Hyper 212 Evos. So I got two of them, they do support, it doesn't say up here, up here I get concerned, it says 2011 and 1151. But then over here on the side it does say it supports 1366 socket type, which is what I have got two of these bad boys and then that case should fit them all and so I'm gonna start building very shortly I am super stoked and so hopefully I do save some points on that price per performance for the graphics card because I'm already spinning a little bit on this build but I think it's gonna turn out really freaking nicely and it's almost done and we decided that it may actually also become my fiance's gaming PC because this is going to be a lot more powerful than what she has, ideally. We'll do a separate video on that with benchmark comparisons between her PC and the server and see if it actually provides better benefits in terms of gaming and recording since we're getting back to the co-op recording. So, we'll see how it goes. And Rio just put up his big announcement video that he's no longer posting on his main The Guy or Die channel. So, that's pretty interesting. Alright, so I've got the uh, GTX 680 and a fan for the two Xeons, or actually two fans, one for each Xeon. And I did a lot of research into this. The 680 seems like a good deal um, because it's still, hold on, I gotta focus there. It's still at the price point that I'm looking for and it has a lot of CUDA cores as compared to the next generation. So it, it it kind of hits the sweet spot. So I'm hoping that it'll live up to expectation. I'm kind of taking a risk on this one. I didn't really feel like going all out for a 750Ti. You know, uh, 60 bucks for a uh, 680 hopefully works out. I guess we'll, we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so I'm just pulling out some of the hardware that I have lying around the house that I plan on reusing like this Samsung drive, uh, it's actually, sorry. I put all my old stuff in uh, the stuff I'm replacing with its old wrapping. So the Samsung is the one I'm using now on my current computer, but the SSD I had before I shoved in here because I wasn't using it anymore. So in here is a 64 gigabyte uh, SanDisk that I'm going to be reusing. And that's gonna be factored in at half MSRP so I bought it for I think 60 so it's 30 30 and basically I'm going to be using a new power supply the problem is I shoved the wrong PSU back into the box so now I have to go on a mad goose hunt to try and find where I put the dang power supply that I want to use oh <laughs> which is a 700 watt power supply uh, cooler master I think um, Ex no, yeah, Cooler Master Extreme Power Plus. So that's it right there. And uh, you can see on the front, that's what it should look like, black, 700. But I had put my old, old one before I got this one and before I got the 1000 watt to put in my current machine. I put the old, old one in here 
and now I don't know where the Cooler Master 700 watt is, and this won't even work, uh, even if it didn't supply enough wattage, because it's only got uh, a 20 plus 4, and then there's no CPU 2x4, and <laughs> I need that. So, I'm going to go try to find it in the garage. I really, I really, really hope I can find it, otherwise I am in a bad place. E. Okay, so going through some of my old boxes, I actually think I know where it is. It's in the newer power supplies box. The RM1000 back there. I uh, I went on a tirade through the garage for apparently no reason. Uh, but in the meantime, I also found the actual case for my SanDisk 64 gigabyte. So I'm replacing it. Uh, so we have the right case with everything. So I'm going to go and grab that. Alright, let's take a look. I feel like I'm doing like an unboxing for like an unboxing channel or something. <laughs> I don't usually do unboxings, but when I do, there are products I already own. Alright. So, right there. I think. Which way do I open it? Um. Uh, okay. So, I think it comes out this way. Excuse my unprofessionalness. I'm just trying to get this thing out of here. And. Voila! I done found it. There we go. Not modular, but still beautiful, because I don't have to pay for one now. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. Boom. Next time on Cineform Renderthon. Alright, for whatever reason, I'm having a lot of trouble getting this little SSD to be detected by USB and it feels much lighter and emptier than your usual SSD and so I'm getting quite paranoid that it's a fake or something.